Judith, and I am Papa Lola's granddaughter. I am the daughter of Gilda Angelis, his first-born uh, child, and I am reading this on behalf of Gilda. Thank you, Pa, for being the most incredible father I could have ever wanted. Thank you for making sure that I've known I was loved every day of my life. I love you, Pa, and I'll miss you more than I can say. When I was in high school, I started practicing and copying his handwriting so I can give an excuse letter at school <laughs> for my tardiness or absence. He gave me my first job handing out Shakey's pizza flyers. I was so happy and excited because I had a free t-shirt and lunch, which is pizza, of course. He loved all his grandkids and great-grandkids equally. I would like to, uh, <laughs> although Richie is special and loved more, uh, he loved his children equally but I'm the favorite, obviously. That's an FYI for those of you who don't know. <laughs> he has a very close relationship with his father. He would always take me to see his dad. I always look forward to it because his dad is a good cook. I learned my excellent work ethic from him. He worked so hard to send us to school, put food on our table, and roof over our head. Pa expected the only best for his children. And although his final years, we'd all move on to different parts of the world, our bond was never broken. It's difficult to imagine him not being around, and I'm not sure how we will cope as we gather here today to remember and commemorate his life. Let's bid him farewell as we mourn the loss of a loving husband, father, uncle, grandfather, and friend. A soul that brought joy and fulfillment to many and whose legacy will live on forever. I thank everyone for joining us here today. And speaking on my behalf, as his granddaughter Judith, I just want to say that I love you so much, Papa. You were a huge part of my life growing up as a child. And I'll always remember going to see you when you worked at McDonald's because you would always give me apple pies. And it was one of the best things ever. I always looked forward to seeing you and getting apple pies and just being with you and hanging out with you and coming home and being with you while mom was at work. You and Mama Lola took such good care of me and Anthony and Ruth and Nathan and you loved us so much. And thank you for taking me in when I was going through a really hard time in my life as a teenager and I didn't know where to go and you and Mama Lola were there for me thank you so much I'm sorry I didn't get to tell you that I loved you one last time but I want you to know that I love you so much and Mama Lola I love you so much and I'm going to see you again I'm going to come see you soon and Papa Lola I hope that you are finally resting in peace and and I love you um, remembering my dad there is nothing much I can say about my dad but as far as I can remember he was a good father in a uh, and a good husband to my mom and a loving grandfather. To all 
Hobbies Run to Run Meron sa aming mga anak niya Walang Mukhang walang ata Nakakuha ng talino ni pa Pero okay lang Bumawi na siya sa mga apo niya What I'm trying to say is Si pa super Talagang matalino Anyway, sa buhay namin Nila ni Ma at ni Pa Maraming ups and downs Pero As we grew older Nakita namin na Wala talagang bumitaw sa kanila ni Ma This is the first time na magkakahiwalay sila ni Ma. And ito na rin yung time na hindi na kami magkikita, hindi na kami magkakausap. I know na bihira akong sabihin sa iyo pa. But now, sanabihin ko sa iyo, Deep in my heart, I love you, and I will surely miss you. Thank you, thank you, sa lahat lahat. Till we meet again, I love you. Babalik ka rin. Ordinary nga nilang na aalis ka, pupunta ka lang ng lese, babalik ka ng bahay, hindi mag-uhospital ka, ilang days ka lang sa hospital, uuwi ka rin ng bahay. But this time, punta ka ng hospital, may wala pang isang araw, iniwan mo na kami, ka na mamalik. Inaantay ka ni Ma. Inaantay ka rin namin. Namuwi. Naalala ko pag nag-video call kami ni Ma, dadaan ka lang. Tatawagin kita, sasabihin ko, sasabihin ko, pa, pa, happy birthday. Alam namin, di mo naririnig. Titingin ka, ngingiti ka, kakaway ka. Tapos, pag lalabas tayo, alam mo, pag, pag nag-aantay ka ng pagkaan sa mesa, sa restaurant, yung uling uli ko, nakasahinatid ko kayo, Gaganong-ganong ka pa, mahilig kang gumanon. Masaya ka. Masarap kang kasama pag nasa labas. Kasi kakain tayo. Tapos, pag may nagustuhan ako, gusto mo yan? Sige, kunin mo na. Gaganon ka. Tapos, nung maliliit kami, pinapasyal mo kami sa Luneta. Ito yung bakasyon yun. Ito yung tayo kumakain. Tapos may kinakaan tayong sa umping. Tapos never mo na prakalo nagagalit ka pero hindi mo hindi 
minsan nalala ko rin pag pag sino mo pupunta kami sa ano kapupuntahin sa sa trabaho mo magkikita tayo sa Ayala tapos kakain tayo sa ano barrio pesta o kaya o order ng ano take out birthday mong darating sana uwi kami uwi kami marami tayo marami kami planong magkakapatid hindi mo kami nantay hindi mo kami nantay Masaya na rin kami kasi alam namin kapiling mo na pamilya mo, si Lola, si Lolo, si Kuya Remy. alam namin na kay Lord ka na at hindi ka na rin magre-reclam masakit ang katawan mo nahihilo ka pamahal na mahal kita alam ko magkikita rin tayo Salubungin mo ako, ha? <laughs> Bantayan mo si Ma. Gabayan mo pa rin kami, pa. I love you. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm one of Renato's grandchildren and Jeanette's son, and I'm reading the eulogy for my mom. I thank God for giving me a chance to be one of my papa's daughter. I could tell you that I am the luckiest person living on this earth to have a father like him. My papa was always there for me, supporting me and my family, and helping me to go back to the right decision. I was so blessed that I have him as my father, a perfect father that everyone would desire. Now that I am old enough, I know how important parents are, especially when you have parents like we do. He cares about his family a lot, especially mama. Their relationship is like a bicycle and they're the tires. You can't ride it without both tires on. He always wants to be with her. They may argue every day because Papa would what would want this and that, but Mama would say no. But at the end of the day, in their six years of marriage, they would choose each other over and over again. I remember the time when I was a child. I was a spoiled brat, I tell you. I get what I want just by crying. He always brings me to his office and taking me out for dinner. He was the one who can take you out for breakfast at Jollibee, lunch at Shakey's, and then to the mall to buy whatever you want. Then have ice cream for merienda. He loves ice cream so much, he will eat it no matter what. He can sneak it out of the fridge late at night without you knowing. My kids miss their Papa Lolo very much. Their hearts were heartbroken when they heard the news about him. He was a good Papa Lolo among his grandchildren. 
I would say the best papalala we ever had. I know that this time will come and I'm happy that I did everything that I could do to pay him back for what he did for us. We are still lucky and thankful to God that he took him away that way, that he didn't suffer in any way. He just fell right into sleep. Thank you, Papa, for taking care of us, protecting us, loving us, and everything that a good father should have done to his children. We love you very much. Thank you, God, for giving us a good life living with your son, our father, Renato. There's nothing we can ask for more. He did everything to provide us all we need. I thank everyone who grieved with us in this time of sorrow. But let us not be sorry that we will not see him again. Time will come that at the end of the rainbow, he will be there to meet us again. Though we are not physically on his side when he departed from this world, we are spiritually and wholeheartedly beside him when he bid the last farewell. Be safe, Papa, on your journey to heaven. Rest in peace and until we meet again.